YouTube land, what's up? It's me. Oh, it's me. Oh, you know it's me. Oh, stop playing around. You knew I was coming. You knew it was me. How y'all doing? So listen, I have to write stuff down now because I'm getting so crazy. I don't know what's been going on with me lately. I can't remember nothing for the love of money. And I'm scatterbrained. So that doesn't make it any better. So, so, there was two things that I needed to talk about. So, there's like a A and B. Yeah, 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 yeah. A, home problems at the bunny ranch. So, so, so that day has come where more problems have arrived at the bunny ranch. Oh, God, it's a never-ending battle at the bunny ranch. So, I'm doing something new tonight. I'm learning how to clean up my spiritual vocabulary. So, instead of me saying more problems at the bunny ranch, I'm going to X out problems and I'm going to name it distractions. Because distractions are more easier to deal with than problems. So I got some distractions going on. Did I tell y'all I was cleaning up my spiritual vocabulary? I didn't, I didn't know if I told y'all I was cleaning up my spiritual vocabulary. Yeah, I'm getting this, I'm getting this all renewed. So I'm going to be canceling out some words and replacing them with some words. And see, see, see I'm, I'm blowing my, my manifestation tailpipes out. I'm blowing smoke. Yeah. So... I don't want to talk about what the problem is right now, but I'll be back to let y'all know. I'll give y'all an update, but, you know, I'm working on things around my house, things that have to be taken care of, things that have been taken care of, but finding out there's more that need to be taken care of, and I don't want to talk about Oh, God. Looks can be deceiving. Oh, they can. They can be really deceiving. Ugh. But, but I'm going to X that out and call that problem a distraction because I know the distraction is there, but I can't allow the distraction to get me off guard. Although I'd like to get off guard. Oh, I'd like to get off guard with your distraction. But that would just take me so against what I'm trying to do right now. You know? So, so, so I'm trying to uh, deal with my energy, and I, there's no trying. I'm going to have to deal with my energy to make my energy blow and shift a certain way that I want it to blow and shift. Now, I'm on that level. So i got to blow my tailpipes out. Huh? Imagine that. It's, it's a nervous, gutty feeling, but somebody's got to do it. You know? So... Once, once I get the problem resolved, and, and I, I've, I've done videos about this because I thought I had the problems resolved, but I did have the problems resolved for what the problems were resolved for. But as I keep strumming along, 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 I'm running into some amazing shit. Oh. But, but this is a distraction. So, I, 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 I listen... I called the people. They own the case. So, so, so they, they'll be out Monday. And we're, they, they, they said they're going to diagnose the problem. Oh, but, but I'm, I'm not, guess what? I'm not going to wish bad on the problem. I'm going to see what they tell me. Because what if I worry myself into a, 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 a I don't know, into a slumber, and then they get the best of me? So I'm, I'm just going to wait. Now, will I not think about it on and off? Oh, you better believe I'll be buzzing. But I gotta, see, I gotta clean this old energy out so I can, I got some extra weight that needs to be moved. And and what I have isn't big enough. I got this, is, what is this, a Dodge Slam dually? But I need something bigger. I'm thinking about going military style. So... So that takes care of that. I, when it, 
when I get it fixed and get down to the bottom of it, you bet your bottom dollar I'll be on here. Because it, it's home improvement. I like to talk about things that I run into because somebody never know uh, what they might run into. So I'm hoping for the best out of this situation because it's a distraction. And, and, and so it, it's a distraction. It's, it's distractions like this that can keep me off of here doing what I love to do. But I love it so much that I'm not going to let that distract me as much. I'm, I'm going to work around the problem and, and see what it's going to take to get the problem resolved. You know, that's, that's just how I'm, I, I'm learning to deal with that. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so we'll, we'll go on to B. My uh, B part was nonverbal. Verbal equals non-enemy. Or does it mean we're enemies? How did I write that? Non-verbal don't equal enemies. Yeah, that's what I meant. See, I have to write this stuff down. So, like... There was another rule. See, I, I go out and I, I break these these rules up. I bring light to them because you know I'm the lighthouse. I'm part of the Lighthouse Association. So, there was this rule, and it has always been for generations that I've known of, that people think just because you don't speak... You don't say hi and acknowledge one another or because you had conflict in the past or things to that nature. Women think when they see each other that they don't care for that they have to roll their eyes at them or that they have to bump them or they have to smack their lips at them. They have to stomp their feet to them. You know... The men do the same thing. They see a guy they don't speak to. They automatically assume it's 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 war, it's fire, it's I don't like you. They it it's shoot him up bang bang. They automatically assume this. But who said just because you and a person don't speak that y'all can't be respectful of one another? See, I, I want to get this out because I've never understood this because I've never been a picker. I, I, I can't get with that. Maybe it's the masculine side of me. I, 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 that, that's, that's unattractive to pick. And so I've always tried to be delightful even in the presence of my enemies. You know, because I don't want that type of war. I, I have enough war in my head. Trust me, I don't want that type of war. But just because two people see each other and they don't speak, that doesn't mean that they have to get into a wrestling match. What 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 is all the stomping and smacking your lips at them for and? Bumping them and praise dancing them and holding your feet to the fire for them, giving them all that type of energy. Like, what is that about? I can't see nobody else making me praise dance for them. I, ah! and, you know, there are certain beefs that can't be put out, but. That don't mean folks got to get the banging, or that don't even mean somebody might even have somebody against the, uh, uh, somebody. Just because you feel dishonored because you wasn't acknowledged. I, 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 I don't get acknowledged all the time either. But I, I don't think that always means that somebody don't like somebody because they don't speak. Maybe they have my vision and they just see things the way they are and they real and they understand them and they don't feel no way about it because it ain't no way to get involved. Why, why would I? 
The only type of beef, you know, I will admit this, and this is scary. I did used to have beef with women that I found out was sleeping with my so-called man or whatever. I would go after them women. Because those women made me threatened. But the other women back here that he messed with, they didn't make me feel threatened. So, I would only attack something if it threatened me. That's the only time I move. But the thing is, I took that focus off of those men because they play a dirty game. Because if a man wants you, he ain't going to have you in that type of position there because he ain't going to be doing it. And if he do do it, Baby, he gonna be low. He gonna be laid so low to the ground, baby. The snake's gonna be on top of him. He gonna be that laid low to the ground, baby. The snake's gonna be on top of him with this shit, baby. Are you looking good? But I tell you what, this shit get back to my wife, baby. We both, we we we, we, we both canceled. We both deleted. Whatever that means. want to break this up because this is messy and, and it's definitely messy for these older women and older men it's just not a good look just because somebody don't acknowledge you the way you want them to then you feel like it's a problem but the thing is they might silently acknowledge you how do you know that baby if they ain't saying nothing they got to be looking Ain't nobody got to look forward to 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 capture your moment. Uh, baby, I got these hindsights back here like a rabbit. I can see when people's in my peripherals. People God has 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 get, given people different gifts. And they can use them. And it's just like some people don't feel the way y'all people think y'all feel about them, these people is just like me. They unbothered. A ain't nobody said it was beef. Like, imagine living in a world where you live in a small town and you don't get along with a lot of people. And you got a, a, you got a journey to be on. To go to the grocery store, to go to the meat store, to go to the bread store, to go to the egg store, whatever you got to do. Go to Target and pick up your medicine. Whatever you got to do. Imagine getting out, getting in your car, first stop you headed to Walmart. You see somebody you don't like. Y'all got to scuffle right then on a dime. All right, you whooped her, she whooped you. You whooped him, he whooped you. However that deal went, y'all posse came, they posse came. However that deal went. Okay, you get in the car. Now you go to Target to pick up the medicine. You shut your door. You look over. Da -da, there goes somebody else you don't like. Y'all got to come together and get to swinging and throwing hands. That's, that's just too much energy. You would never make it. The bread store never seen you. You told the man you'd be here and pick up your eggs by six. He waiting on you because you're a loyal customer. That man supposed to be at home 30 minutes ago. His woman frying liver and onions and rice and, and tomato on the side and, and his favorite beer. And he's sitting here waiting on the loyal customer. They're so over here in the parking lot banging because somebody didn't acknowledge them. I just don't understand it. I just don't like the way people carry themselves. I've never been a picker. I, I, I'm the type of person where if it's on site, it's on site. But I, I refer it. I, I don't want it to be on site. Your site or mine. You stay, listen, everybody just stay away. You know, but I've always been an on site type of person. Like, I can't get riled up on the phone and can't get to you. I've tried that shit all my life. Meet me and so-and-so. Don't nobody meet you. I ain't got time for all of this mess. God. I just don't understand how people giving so much energy to something they claim they don't like. Or do you love it? Well, I might 
may be telling too much here. Uh, whoops, well, I better go. I'm be here now.